welcome back to Jackie's Castle. Today we're going to talk about something a little different. Candy. Specifically, one of the greatest candies ever from when I was a kid, Mr. Bones. Yep. You would have absolutely loved it. It was fruit flavored, kind of hard candy, kind of like Smarties, but they were in the shape of bones. Your favorite kind of thing. What's the problem? I do not like fruit candy. Huh, okay. But but it was delicious, take my word for it, you know, truly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was on Super 7's website not very long ago and I was kind of browsing around and I came across the most awesome Mr. Bones merchandise I've ever seen in my entire life. Like the, the only Mr. Bones merchandise I've ever seen in my mm -hmm. entire life, but I couldn't resist it. So I ordered it, it showed up. And we're gonna talk about that here in a minute. We'll take a real close look at it all. But first, I thought we should talk about the history of Mr. Bones just a little bit. You know, whether you're like this guy over here that's never heard of Mr. Bones, or you're like me that has eaten it for kind of a large chunk of my life, um, I think you'll find something interesting here. Should we take a look? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Okay, so Mr. Bones was created in 1977 by somebody named Vero Ritchie. Um, and he made these for the Fleer Corporation. You've probably heard of them. Uh, Fleer made all this, a lot of sports cards back in the day. Uh, Vero also created some of the other candy containers that came out way back then. Uh, the one I remember is the garbage can. Uh, it was, you know, a little plastic garbage can full of little candies that looked like different kinds of trash. Mm -hmm. You'd have loved it. It was kind of fruit flavored candies, just like Mr. Bones. I don't like fruit flavored candy. Fantastic. Um, and after that, he went on to make these coffins for Mr. Bones. They were these little plastic coffins. Um, the top of the lid, you know, had the Mr. Bones logo on it. It had two little latches on the side, um, kind of to keep your candy from falling out, you know, when you're carrying it around, enjoying it. Um, and then if you opened it up, there was a Mr. Bones picture on the top of the lid inside. And then after you closed it, there, you would see that there was a little loop on the top of it. You know, you could put it on like a necklace or a keychain and put toys in it and carry it around, you know, whatever you wanted to do. How many colors do they come in? Uh, it's kind of complicated. There were at least, I think, eight main colors. Um, there was orange, white, black, green, yellow, red, purple, and brown that I've seen. But then it gets kind of weird because I think they also kind of came in every shade of those colors. Oh. So I, I've even heard like clear, but I don't know if that's just the factory changing the colors a little bit. I, I couldn't find like a master list saying these certain colors definitely exist. Um, so if anybody does know exactly how many colors these things came in, let us know. I'd, I'd love to hear it. The coffins did come in cases of 24 and 36 and these boxes with just awesome Mr. Bones artwork on them that someday you're gonna buy me one because I'd love to have one. <laughs> I'm sure they're cheap, um, it'd be fun. How much are they? I don't know, I couldn't even find one online. So that, that's for you to, to, to handle for Okay. <laughs> um, and the most important thing, you know, about these coffins was there were little bones inside of it, little candy bones. Mm -hmm. And it would take 17 bones to put together like a puzzle to make your skeleton. It took a pelvis, a rib cage, a head, two shoulder blades, two upper arms, two lower arms, two hands, two feet, two upper legs, and two lower legs. The only problem was that every coffin didn't have all the parts in it, so you had to sometimes have multiple coffins, you know, to, to complete your skeleton, which was fine by me because he was delicious. Unfortunately, they took him away from us around mid-1990s. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if people's taste just changed and they got really bad taste, you know, like some people I know, or or why, they, <laughs> or why they took it away from us, but they did. And then not too long after that, Fleer went out of business. Uh, they were bought by Upper Deck. Upper Deck got all of the, the rights to their products. So I don't know what has happened to the specific rights to Mr. Bones at this point. If he does decide to rise from the grave and you finally get to try him, it will probably be the best day of your life. No, it won't. Oh, oh. No, it won't. <laughs> okay, 
So we've kind of covered the history of Mr. Bones here. Should we take a look at the box? Yes. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so we've got the box. Okay. Are you excited? Um, I don't know. You can't eat it. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, so let's see well, what's inside. Isn't everything probably expired by now. No, unfortunately, this isn't even edible. The receipt. We've got. It's very nicely wrapped up in okay. here. And we've got two items. I saw the first one. You gotta wait on the first one. This is exciting. It's a shirt. It is a shirt. Mr. Bones, okay. You ready to see this? Look at the front of it. It's got the coffin right there on the front. Oh, that's better. I thought that was it and I was like. <laughs> oh, he likes the back of it. Yeah, I like it. Check the out back. the back there with the, the box art on it. Yeah, that's actually, that one's cooler than the back. That, I don't, well, I love that the coffin's on the front. That's awesome. And it's really soft. It's a nice feeling shirt. I've never had one of the Super 7 shirts before, I don't think. But I would, I would, as far as how it feels, it definitely feels nice. And that might be the coolest shirt ever made. Um, I don't know if that's true. He just doesn't get it. See, it's fruity he candy. He just doesn't get it's it. It's fruity candy. But it's in a coffin. And it's a skeleton. Okay. I, I don't even know. All right, you ready for the biggie? Yeah, I like this one. I already. Well, you peeked. Yeah, I peeked. The action figure. Mm -hmm. Now, I never in my life thought I would see a Mr. Bones action figure. Yeah, it comes with his little tombstone there from the box art. Um, you can see on the back. Now he, I've I've seen some people that have opened him, um, and he does not necessarily, you know come apart like yeah. like in the coffin, which yeah. is a little bit of a shame, but if he did, you know, he wouldn't be like posable. So should we give him a close up look at it? Yes. All right. He is posable um, and I'd love to have one to open, but I love the package too much. I don't think I can bring myself to tear him open. So we're gonna have to just, you know, give some close ups here in the box. Um, he is colored just like the art on the, the case of coffins that you'd see. Um, which is really cool. See here on the back, it does show all the separate pieces, kind of what they'd look like if he came apart, even though he doesn't. Um, they did also make a glow-in-the-dark version. Um, what which happened to it? I kind of wish I had got, but you know, you only got so much money and the candy didn't glow in the dark, so I wasn't sure it made a ton of sense. Mm -hmm. um, now, I do have one really big complaint about this figure. You can't guess what it is? You can't eat him? No, there's, no, it's worse than that. Well, not worse than that. It'd be really cool if you could eat him. <laughs> but <laughs> there's no coffin. We've got a Mr. Bones figure. We've got his tombstone. True. But the, half of the Mr. Bones, like, fantasticness was his coffin. And Super 7, come on, we need a coffin to go with this guy. I know he'd be a little bit bigger since he doesn't come apart, but they could totally make one. And I, I need it. I need it in my life. We need a bigger coffin for this guy. So, overall, what do you think? Uh, it's really cool, but I still don't want to eat him. Still doesn't want to eat him. No, right, well, no we'll eating, but I do like this action figure. <laughs> if we ever come across any more cool Mr. Bones merchandise, if you ever buy me the case or some of the coffins or something like that, we'll be back. Please like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.